Okay, welcome to my uh, file, upload, file upload tutorial, uh, part of the PHP Basics playlist. Um, in this video I'm going to talk very briefly about file uploads. Um, should just be, the video will just be one part, um, hopefully less than like five minutes long. So, let's get started. Um, basically what we're going to do is have a single page, upload.php, that takes a file that we select and puts it in the files folder. If I go to the files folder now, you see it's empty. Uh, if I just open this uh, same folder in my file explorer, you see the exact same thing. It's got zero items in it. Um, so uh, if I just open the upload.php file, um, you see we've just got a basic HTML sort of starting point template. All I've done is given it a title. Um, not really sure why I did that. <laughs> um, if I open this page in my browser, you see the blank page with this title I specified. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, add the form here for the upload and the processing sort of stuff here at the top. Uh, right, so let's get started, I suppose. Add the form. The action is going to be an empty string, which just means the current page URL. Uh, the method is going to be post. And we're going to set the ink type t white type to multi part slash for data. Um, this enc type slash multipart slash multipart slash form data um, is very important. Basically without this PHP won't populate the files array which I will talk about in a moment. Um, so yeah you need that if you're doing file uploads. Um, in here we're just going to have two inputs. One of them will be the file box, input type file, give that the name of upload. The second one is a submit button, which is input type submit. That's going to have the value of upload. Okay, that's that done. Uh, if I go back to our browser, just hit reload, you see we get this file box. If I click on it, um, yeah, never mind. If I <laughs> click on it, um, and just select the file, hit upload, see nothing happens, the page just reloads. Um, yeah, effectively nothing happens. Um, so we need to process something here with PHP. So we are going to do that now. Um, I should just briefly introduce the files array. If I just, for example, do um, print underscore r files, um, this files array is populated when you have a uh, file input submitted and this set um, print underscore r function takes one parameter as a, no two actually uh, one the first one is an array the second one is optional and it tells you whether it should return the value or print it directly basically it prints the array data its keys and values uh, in a format which you can read makes sort of sense so now if I go back to our page just hit refresh or reload the page we get an empty array uh, sorry about the invalid HTML, don't bug me about that please. Um, if I just upload this file again, hit upload, you see we get this whole load of information. Um, we have the fact that this is the name of the file input we used, upload. Um, that is an array itself and contains the information on the file name, file type, the temporary name, we'll talk about in a moment, and the f error, error constant, um, and the size. This error constant will almost all of the time be zero. Um, if you look on php.net in the file upload section, it tells you what each of the error constant mi error constants mean. But almost all the time, you won't get any error constant other than um, zero, which just means upload OK. Uh, yeah, so we are, uh, this temporary name. Um, is the current location of the file on the server. Basically when we submit that file the server puts it in a temporary folder under this name, the TMP folder, and then it gives it a random name starting with PHP. Usually you can change that, uh, so maybe not always. Um, so what we are going to do is move that somewhere like with a nice name. And lucky, luckily for us PHP has a function that both checks if the uh, file has been uploaded like not someone trying to get one of your files um, and also moves the file. Uh, and that function is the move uploaded files function. 
Oh, one thing I should also point out: if you have multiple uh, multiple input file inputs, um, each one corresponds to an array key here. So you get multiple. You get like lots of these bits. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll do another tutorial on multiple file uploads. I want to keep this less than five minutes, which is obviously not going to be. Um, right, so what we need to do is first check if the uh, form has been submitted. So we're going to check for the existence of the files key using uh, this. And then in here we want to upload the file, which is done using the move uploaded file function. First parameter is the temporary name, which we saw a moment ago. Upload slash dump name. And the second parameter is the place you want to save the file, which is going to be um, files slash the file name. Load slash name. And that's it. Uh, now if we go back to our page, just click, oops, hit reload, browse for file, select that file, hit upload. See, well nothing happens because we haven't had anything happen. But if I go to our thing, just open that, you see in that folder we have the file that's just been uploaded. And you can use, this is just the basics of it, that's pretty much how you upload a file. So hopefully you've learned something and hopefully this is something I won't have to explain in another tutorial. So yeah, thanks for watching.